Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a question and answers video along with me getting dressed today. I have a few things to do. I need to have a, blah, blah. I have a therapy appointment. I need to go to the grocery store and I also need to come back home and work for the rest of the day. So it's kind of a busy day and I wanted to sit down and do this fun video. I did not expect to get as many questions as I did. I literally expected about like three questions, but I got way more, which is really cool because I really enjoy this. I think it's fun. You get to know the person better and I just like that. I'll probably start with the question I had on Facebook. I only had one on Facebook and that was from someone I personally know and the rest were on Instagram. Um, and yeah, so let's just freaking get into it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm kind of gonna have to hurry. I feel like I always say that in my videos, so I feel like I'm always, always rushing. I already threw on my Pond's light moisturizer because your girl is dry. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the first question. The first question was just on Facebook and the rest I'll do on Instagram. Real quick, I'm doing the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless 310. I love this stuff. The first question that was on Facebook was stay in or go out? That is easy for me. I pick staying in over going out anytime. I'm sorry guys, I am gonna put on some primer real quick. I forgot I need to do that. It's just the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. Yeah, I prefer staying in rather than going out. I'll be home about 70 to 80% of the time and then I will randomly go out the rest of the time. Yeah, I'm not like a, I don't know, I like being home to be honest. So that's question number one. Okay, the next question is, what is my zodiac sign? How old am I and where am I from? I am 32 years old. I am from Texas and my zodiac sign, I am a cancer. So the sign is like, why is this coming out anymore? Um, a crab, I don't know if that's, I don't know. Next question is, what is your favorite place for summer bargains? Um, the ones I always talk about mainly, which is like Ross, Marshalls. I like Goodwill, to be honest. I actually love Goodwill, but Goodwill is kind of like getting up there in price. Like sometimes it's kind of expensive, which is crazy to me, but like I love to thrift shop. Like actually I'm gonna go to Goodwill soon. Um, but yeah, so Goodwill used to be it, but I don't go there as much just because it's kind of like, they kind of went up in price and that's been like that for a while now. Um, but I still like to go thrift shopping. So, but yeah, I live at Ross Marshall's. I'm never at the mall. I'm not a mall girl. Things have changed so much since high school. Like I used to go to the mall all the time and like, it's just like too many people it's expensive and I just, that's not my thing anymore. Okay, next question is, do I want kids? For one of my own, of course, I think I would, but um, if it doesn't happen, then you know, it just doesn't happen and that's okay. I have a niece, Layton, and I stay pretty busy with her. So if I don't have one on my own, I mean, it is what it is, I've kind of, I have something called endometriosis I've talked about before and I don't really want to go into this because it's a long story but it it's harder to get pregnant when you have endometriosis so of course that's caused a lot of um sadness and you know that's just hard to talk about but um so like if I don't have a baby I've come to the conclusion and just like kind of like have to face it and just make the best of life without me actually having a child because that's just what it is Next question is, do you read? I actually love to read. Do I have time? I do not have time anymore to read. But when I would read, it was always books about people that have, um, there's a few actually that went, um, that were all over the news and stuff like that, like people that had been kidnapped and they talk about how, um, you know, they survived it. So I like 
books like that, those are interesting books to me. I have to have a book that like catches me. Otherwise, I'm not going to focus. I'm going to start thinking about five other things while I'm trying to read. And it has to be a book that catches my attention for sure. And yeah, so I just like, I miss the days when I would read elementary, like with my Nana. Like I've always been a reader and I miss that. So I'm hoping one day I'll have more time, but right now I, I just don't have time to read. So that's unfortunate. The next person asked, I'm sorry, and hang on a second. I'm getting, I'm talking too much and I'm forgetting to tell y'all what I'm doing. This is the elf. Sorry, I cannot see out of these contacts. This is the elf uh, 16 hour concealer. I love this stuff. And then I actually think I am going to do like, I don't know. I love the Jaclyn Hill palette, but I don't think I'm going to use any of those colors. I think I'm just going to do these browns. This is, I think, $3. It's super tiny from e.l.f. I've talked about this before. Next question says summer or winter. That's really easy. I am a nicer person in the summertime. That's just like my happy time. I just love summertime i love being in the pool like my family barbecuing stuff like that i just love i don't know i'm just happy in the summer very extra happy um i do not like winter i do not like the cold i do however like the um uh, clothing for winter i love wearing my boots i love wearing beanies um but that's the only thing i like about winter nothing else next question is is youtube my job so to start making money from youtube you do have to hit i guess i would call it milestones i don't know what i would call it but you have to hit two different things in order to start getting paid um i am halfway there so no this isn't my job yet but it will be in the next few months so i so yeah there's that i absolutely love youtube it never feels like a job. Um, it's kind of similar to how I feel about photography. So I love getting on here and I love making videos. And if I can do that and get paid and show y'all things that I find that are affordable, I mean, that's literally the best job that I could have, to be honest with you. So I am almost there. I'm very excited to start that journey in a few months because I know I'm speaking it into existence. That will happen in the next few months. And I'm super excited for that. So next person says, not a question, but more Dollar Tree hauls. Love them. I am so glad y'all love my Dollar Tree hauls. I am so thankful for that because Dollar Tree is my absolute jam. Um, however, I don't always do Dollar Tree hauls, guys, but I will keep trying my best to, you know, I, I will always do them. Sometimes I really like to do like lifestyle stuff. And yeah, so I hope that y'all still like stay around with me because I promise you like there will always be Dollar Tree hauls in here. Okay. Okay. Just stay. Not forcing you, but I would love if you stayed. Next, um, this isn't really a question, but someone wrote your dark hair. Thank you so much. Yes, my hair is darker. I haven't been this dark uh in like over 10 years but when i first do it it's almost like a black like it's a very dark brown it's like the darkest brown possibly <clears throat> excuse me but when i first do it it's super fresh it basically looks jet black but yeah i'm loving it and i, ha I had to get some you know get used to it again because it has been a long time since i've done that but um since i've gone this dark but yes i'm seriously loving it and thank you so much. I appreciate that. You're so sweet. Okay, next question. It says, you have mentioned depression before. How do you cope with it? Um, that's actually a really good question. So I have depression. And when that light comes on, what I like to do is literally be by myself. That's like, it's just something I... I as I've gotten older, I like to just like be by myself and that kind of sounds weird, right? And you would think I'd like to be out like with friends, but that's not really my case and like everybody's different, but that's just, oh, I'm sorry guys. I'm using the MAC palette 
and I'm using like this shimmery brown color right here. So I either like to uh, be home or I uh, photography, like I've talked about this before in my get to know me video, I talked about how photography has helped me so much with like my mental health and that's very true. Um, so either I will be home and just be with myself, do whatever I want, or I will um, go to work because I have to work. And I actually look forward to that because it gets me out and it literally helps me so much. So I am grateful for that. So those are a few ways that I cope with it. And now with my newest thing is YouTube. YouTube is now my second outlet. I just love being on here and it helps me a lot. So that's kind of how I cope with it. Uh, writing down things and like a journal that is has been really helpful um that's something new that i started and um i'm enjoying that the unhealthy thing i do i don't like to say unhealthy i don't like to say unhealthy because i don't really have like a problem but i like to go to dollar tree if i'm feeling like in my feelings or um go to ross and get like a shirt or something yes i do but i don't have like i would not say and i would admit i would admit i don't have a um super shopping um, addiction so that's good and you know shopping addictions are a thing they really are so I, I definitely know uh, what that looks like and that's not my thing but you know that's those are a few things that help me when I'm feeling like depressed biggest pet peeve okay so that is easy my biggest pet peeve I would say is eating with your mouth open I cannot stand that like doesn't that feel uncomfortable to you right? Like how? It drives me up the wall. And I think that's something my mom drilled into me like when I was a kid, like you do not say huh and you do not eat with your mouth open and you always say yes ma'am, no ma'am. Like I don't know, that's just something that was drilled into me and honestly those are good things to be drilled into your children. Second pet peeve would be <clears throat> being late. I cannot stand to be late. Even when I go to work, I will be like an hour early to my session because I want to get to my session and I want to just like relax and decompress. I don't want to just park and go straight into that session. Like I want to just relax and especially if I've never been to the um, location, I will leave early for that just because I have anxiety about being late and getting lost like into a different sometimes I have to go to different cities so like sometimes I just want to make sure that I'm there on time and yeah so I cannot stand to be like huge pet peeve of mine I am also using the Tarte man eater guys I usually use one from Walmart I'm just literally trying to use this one up there's nothing wrong with this but uh I just rather use my Maybelline one, the Sky High, or the other one that I've showed y'all before. What is, I forget what it's called. Maybelline Sky High, and there's another one that L'Oreal Lash Paradise, maybe. Those are like my go-tos. I have a third pet peeve. My third pet peeve would be when I'm at the store and somebody is standing so close to me. I don't know who you are, and ever since like COVID, like I know that's like a huge thing, but I was kind of like this before COVID. Yeah, do not stand close to me. Please don't. Because if I feel you breathing on me, I'm gonna freak out. Like I just will. I don't like that. And that is a pet peeve. Okay, this is a good one. What is your downfall? Ooh. Okay, so I would say my down, I, they didn't specify in a relationship, like in general, so I'll just go like off the top of my head. My downfall, I would say, is trusting people too easy, too quick, rather that be in a relationship or uh, just regular people. Like, But I would say as I've gotten older, my anxiety has grown even stronger. So I am not as trusting, which is a good thing in this case. I would still say that I would kind of like to tone it down just a little bit more and not trust so easy because not everybody's good, guys. It's probably why I only have a few friends. I just, yeah. Next thing I would say is people pleasing. I have been a people pleaser since I was a uh, very, very young. I always wanted 
to, you know, <clears throat> just make everybody happy, my family, stuff like that. But then I learned like you cannot please everybody. And sometimes it feels really heavy when you feel like, you know, you're trying to make everybody happy and it's impossible to make everybody happy. Okay. And I had to learn that. So yeah, those are my downfalls and I'm learning to uh, be different when it comes to that. So it's just something I'm still working on. Okay guys, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Eyeliner now. Next question is, what is your go-to drink? I am not sure if you are talking about an alcoholic beverage or in general, so I'll answer both. So, only thing I drink is water or Gatorade. I do not drink sodas. I'm not a soda person, so um, there's that. So just water or Gatorade. For alcoholic drink, I like lemon drop martinis or, um, if I'm not doing like something like fancy and cute, I will do um, cranberry vodka with like a lime. That's normally the drink I always get, unless like I said, I get like a martini or something at like a restaurant. Advice for someone just starting on YouTube. Honestly guys, I just picked YouTube back up a few months back. Well, I think it was like November where I started to back up again. So I'm still really small, I'm a small YouTuber. I kind of feel like I'm starting it all over again just because I took such a long break, which I really do regret, but you know, whatever. But I can still, you know, tell y'all like my opinion. If you want to start YouTube and you're like me and you're watching all these YouTubers and you're like, I really want to do that. Okay, that's not cool, but we'll just pretend that didn't happen. I remember watching YouTube all the time. I'd be like, man, I wish I wasn't shy. Like I want to do videos and stuff like that. Like if that's you, you just do it. Like I've also said in a previous video, I was, um, there's always going to be people from like where you live, where it's going to be weird for them. Like I have, I actually post my YouTube also to my Facebook where all my family is. So I'm pretty sure it's weird for my family to see me on here and they're just like, that's weird. But you can't worry about your family and friends that you know personally. You just can't. So if, if you think YouTube would make you happy and do it, who cares? Who cares what people think? You just do it, okay? And um, yeah. And aside from that, the next thing I would advise is if you do get on YouTube, stay consistent. You can't do like one video a month. Like that's not gonna cut it if you wanna be like taken like serious on the YouTube algorithm or something like that. Like you need to do two to three videos a week. And the last advice I would give is you have to stay pick what is interesting to you, like rather it's um, like like health stuff or rather something I do like affordable shopping or lifestyle, you need, it's very important to stick with your niche, like pick one. Like sometimes I do kind of mix it up in my YouTube channel and I try to not do it too much, but like I decided I was gonna have my YouTube channel on beauty stuff, affordable finds and lifestyle because sometimes I wanna do lifestyle stuff. So it's just really important to kind of uh, stick with what you're doing. Don't do like something like totally off the wall and then tomorrow you're doing a shopping haul when you're talking about like how to save money or so. You, you see what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to describe what I'm saying, but I think y'all get what I'm trying to say. Basically, pick something that interests you, stick with it, don't change it. So there's that. I found that people do not, people subscribe to you because like people who subscribe to me, they're interested in watching Dollar Tree hauls or finding cute stuff at Walmart. And if I switch it up, like something totally off the wall different that didn't include, you know, beauty or something like that, they might unsubscribe to me. Um, but, and that has happened. And I kind of came to this conclusion that the people that are going to stay on my channel, like those are gonna be the subscribers that I want there to begin with because they're gonna stick with me through um, like through my whole journey. So there's that, just try your best to stick with it. And yeah, that's what I advise. You seem positive and happy. How do you stay positive? By the way, love your videos. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. I'm glad you love my videos because sometimes, you know, I kind of feel like I'm awkward, which I am, and I'm gonna embrace that. I'm an awkward person. And you would know that if you like knew me in real life. I can be awkward and that's okay. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> but um, 
I am not. I try, I try to be positive, but unfortunately there's days that I just, um, I'm not always positive, but for the most part I am. And it's, uh, a, it's definitely like how you, you train your mind to think like if you're thinking negative in your mind your whole day is going to be negative but if you're you can turn it around and that's something i learned over time as well um it's not impossible so no i'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say oh i'm happy every single day because no like there's things that i struggle with or there's um things that happen that i'm struggling with or i'm upset about but getting out i talked about this before as well getting outside going for a walk um hang out with a friend or hang out at home by yourself. I don't know. It's just, it's literally just the way you train your mind to think. You think about everything that you're grateful for. You know, things could always be worse. Um, that's just kind of like what helps me. Okay guys, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and I'm going to use this brush that I always use. I got it from my Ipsy. It's 100 years old. Just kidding. It's kind of old though. How do you deal with toxic friendships? This is a really good question. How do I deal with toxic friendships? I don't. <laughs> so when I was like, I would say, oh God, all the way back in elementary, I always let my friends like run over me, y'all. Like I really would. I would let them like I don't know like I would just like never stick up for myself or anything like that it was just absolutely horrible and I hated that I really did but as I as I'm an adult now I, I have removed friends from my life and I have zero regret from that if I feel like you are not good for me if you are toxic if you do not have good intentions like I don't want your friendship and you can sit there and you can talk to them about how you feel and if they don't change then that's on them and you just don't talk to them anymore i felt like i had to um let me spray some of this you have to have respect for yourself and that's something i had to realize later on is i'm gonna have enough respect for myself to not allow someone like that in my life and uh, i have zero regrets i don't feel bad about it and i've only done that to a few people but it was like one of the best things that I've literally ever done. And that is the advice I would say is, you know, if it's one of your like really good friends or something like that, talk to them, talk to them, speak up and tell them how you feel. And if they don't care or they don't change, bye. <laughs> I mean, that's just, it sounds maybe a little harsh, but you know, I think uh, I'm learning a lot and I'm just like, you know, it is what it is. I'm using the Milani. It's number eight in T Rose. Last question. Somebody asked, do you have anxiety? And uh, that's an easy and quick yes. And I've also talked about this on, I think my get to know me video. I'll link it above if anybody wants to check it out. I have anxiety, yes, and I would say, hang on guys, my anxiety started and I still remember it to this day. It start, a lot of my stuff started in elementary. I was so freaking young having anxiety and that is like, that sucks, like that's sad. And a lot of kids have anxiety. I've seen it, I worked in the school district before and I remember seeing these kids and like crying and I'm just like, I remember that. Like I still remember being in elementary school crying at my desk just crying. I remember crying at the lunch table. And yeah, so my anxiety started so early. I think a lot had to do with, and I've mentioned this to my mom before, and of course she's like, you know, feels bad about it. But there's no reason to feel bad about it because the past is the past. My mom followed me from preschool to, um, to elementary. And eventually she did want to follow me also to middle school, but she kind of, she stayed back and she stayed at the elementary school where I was at. And I think a lot had to do with my, um, I leaned on my mom a lot. Like I always had her, I depended on her. I couldn't do much without her. So while my mom wanted to be there for me, I feel like it was kind of like, 
it didn't get me to where I could be independent because it, I always had my mom if something was wrong or a teacher, you know, something happened to me, like my teacher would just go get my mom. And you know, it was so convenient, but it was too convenient. There was no, um, I just leaned on her too much. And I think that that caused a lot of anxiety when I was going to middle school and you know, I didn't have my mom. And um, yeah, I didn't gain independence until way later. Like literally I'm talking like maybe five years ago and which is really crazy to say, but I think that's when definitely and I think that's why it started was you know and it was nothing she did wrong it's just she wanted to be with me and I get that like but if I have kids of my own one day um I I do not think that I will do certain things that I had growing up because I know like what it did for me like the negatives that it did for me you know what I'm saying um, and by the way, this was CoverGirl and Melting Powell. It's matte and the color is Current Nude. I love this stuff. But yeah, so I have anxiety, but I'm trying to get help for it. I'm trying to find different ways to cope with that as well. And I will and everything will be fine. Uh, this is just part of life. And a lot of people, like almost everyone has anxiety. A lot of people have depression. You know, I'm no different, but I'm like, I talk about it. I'm not shy about the topic and I, you know, if people want to talk about it, I'll talk about it. But, um, yeah, so that's just, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. So I'm using the Pixie Skin Treats Makeup Fixing Mist. I've talked about this before. I love this stuff. It's rose water and green tea. It smells so good. I'm trying to get rid of this one, the Urban Decay All Nighter ultra matte it works good as well but i personally don't like the way it smells smells are very important guys the only thing bad about this is that oh, i need to get my fan hang on a second the only negative thing that i would say about this um setting spray is it comes out like freaking like you're putting water all over your face like it spritzes out like a lot so i always have to do this but anyways, I was debating if I wanted to do my hair on camera, but I don't know if I have enough time. Because I feel like when I do my hair on here, I typically take longer. And yeah, I might straighten it or I might curl it. I'm not quite sure, but I'll probably just do that after I get off this video. I'm almost done. And thank y'all again for your questions. Like that was, I don't know. I love answering questions. I think it's fun to do. And then it lets you like get to know me more. And I just think that that's fun to do. So thank y'all all for your questions. And this is my makeup look for today. It's very simple. So those are some of the questions that I had. Now there were questions that um, I, I got questions that I didn't want to answer. And that's not something that I'm not going to say that I won't answer later on, like later on down the road. But as of now, I'm not going to answer those. And I'm sorry about that sorry not sorry um but yeah so that is it for my question and answers and my makeup so i will see you guys next time i'm gonna go do my hair and go run my errands bye guys thanks for watching <laughs>